Welcome to Daniel Christenics and welcome to this new video. Today I'm with my friend Viktor Kamenov from Bulgaria, also known as one of the strongest planches in the world. And yeah. I'm happy that I can do an interview with you today and introduce yourself a little. I'm Viktor Kamenov, I'm 19 years old from Bulgaria. I'm dealing with street workout and calisthenics for 2012. Nice, and you also had a good success, right? You have been the winner of Burning Gate Cup, you've been the second nice, in the World exactly, Championship. Exactly, yeah. Last year I got uh, first place in Burning Gate, Italy. Nice. And in Moscow I got second place. Nice, nice. I will now ask him some questions that you guys told me to ask him or that also I guess to ask him. So the first question is when did you start to work out and why did you start to work out back then? So as I said 2012, uh, at first it was not about any specific skills, probably more about basics and maybe the only skill was handstand. I, I wanted to, a lot to learn handstand, I was doing it everywhere. everywhere. So maybe that helped me after this for planches and all the other stuff. Nice. So it was like this. Yeah. And it was motivating for you to just think about being able to do a handstand. So that or that was one of the first motivations, or was that been the first motivation for you? Probably this was the first motivation for me because yeah, it was something unique. Yeah. You know, rarely you can see people with uh, standing on their hands. Yeah. So because of this. What is your height and what is your weight? I'm around 170 centimeters, around 60 to 63 kilograms. Yeah, okay. Okay. How many times a week do you train and how long do you train? When you train? I train every day. Uh, if somebody will ask me about rest day, uh, I've got like one day rest, but it's not a it's not a rest. It's just a smaller workout. It's like one hour, one hour and a half. So yeah, I train every day. Okay, good. So the next question is pretty similar. What does your usual workout week look like to you? And what do you do exactly on each day of the week? And do you do different different stuff on different days or do you always do the same? Yeah, of course, different stuff, different days. You can't do only planche, planche, planche. You get exhausted, you have no progress. Yeah. And you can get injured, of course. Yeah. Yourself, you know, injury. With injury, you can't have a good progress. So yeah, I try to do different stuff every day. Uh, for example, today if I'll do planche, tomorrow I'll try something else. Okay. Dynamics or uh, or or basics. Okay. So, but you do some. So, how does a week look like? You do some planches, I think, every day, but not maybe not every day too much, right? Not. not or, I, for example, today I'll do a lot. Of Statics, a lot of planches. Tomorrow I will do not so much planches. Okay. I'll concentrate more on another thing. Okay. And do you have like a plan that you repeat every week, or is yeah, it a little exactly? And exactly. how does this plan look like? Bro, so a short insight. It's hard to say, bro. Okay, it's hard. Yeah, it's. I just write on my notebook. So. Okay, you have a little insight for for the viewers and how it how you build it up over the week. How to build it you up. You don't have to explain everything everything but just a little just bit. to focus mainly on not cons uh, not repeating the elements day after day that's it okay that's it so, so you just try to change up yes yes okay, exactly good. so see what works the best for you try different things and when you see that you're progressing with some program just repeat it and upgrade it that okay it. Yeah. nice so the next question is do you always go do you limit when you train or do you also do sometimes not go to the limit when you when you work out yeah, of course I don't uh, go always on my limit. So I've got the days when I do my max sets and reps and my max hold, but sometimes I don't go so hard. Okay. Yeah. What keeps you motivated to keep training and to keep improving yourself after this long time of working out? Probably the thought that I've trained so much before and I was so motivated before and with uh, all these things that I can do right now, I just can't uh, stop. You know? okay. I want I want to maintain them and of course it will be good if I have a progress. So you just like the thought of being better than you are right now, so that's yes, not exactly, okay. exactly. Yeah, I understand that. So next question is what are you doing besides street workout and calisthenics? Besides street workout and calisthenics, right now I'm uh, 
studying in a university architecture so yeah that's something different yeah it's a little bit uh, hard to match with street work out but okay. i'm trying to do and it. it takes a lot of time yeah yeah, yeah for sure yeah so you're not having all day the train and the have the perfect training and the perfect nutrition and everything is perfect so you yeah. always so yeah, i think you told me before also it's not it's not always that easy to match everything that yes you're exactly exactly I've usually after university i'm exhausted so i don't have so much yeah. motivation but i don't have i don't have a choice i, I yeah. need to work hard yeah i think i think that's good to hear that if even one of the best in the world in statics is or not having like the perfect program and the perfect training weeks yeah for energy. sure not always the perfect training yeah, yeah yeah sometimes it will look like uh, if you look on youtube that everything is perfect but not okay it's, and it's absolutely normal for everyone yeah every athlete has bad trainings yeah i know it as well <laughs> okay the next question is what is your favorite element in street workout oh it's hard to say really it's hard to say probably more more statics i can say like overall more statics yeah. than dynamics yeah, yeah but uh, it's hard for me to say exactly some elements. Yeah, in the past, my favorite element was Maltese because I really wanted to learn it. But right now, I'm a little bit bored from him. Yeah, from you <laughs> already mastered it pretty so, well. So, <laughs> so I can say Maltese, probably statics. Okay, statics in general. Okay, statics in general. How do you warm up before a workout? Warm up? Yeah, I do like a normal warm-up uh, that everyone knows yeah yeah it's uh, it's a multi for training also some flexibility and if i'll do a planch training yeah. i'll do a lot of leans leans before a lot of leans and yeah. just a little holds on the static elements so uh, so i'll feel the pressure yeah in shoulders and everywhere and I can go go hard after this. Okay, so it's like I think it's like everywhere. You do a non-specific warm-up and then a specific exactly, warm-up. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's not enough only these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. The normal warm-up, not enough. So another question we got is how do you get such bulletproof wrists and fingers for the stuff that you do that you can see you doing online? Uh -huh. uh, and do we do something for the wrist mobility? For the finger strength, uh, I do a lot of just normal push-ups. On fingers I also started with three fingers after it two a lot of push-ups and I usually I actually continue training it like this I'm not uh, right now only doing full planche on fingers on my training and stop with it I continue doing those basics so okay I can maintain my strength yeah uh, about uh, wrist mobility yeah about wrist mobility uh, yeah some flexibility yeah, like normal Okay, like nothing, nothing so special. Yeah. Okay, I think you will get a lot of mobility and strength from doing the stuff later, anyways. Right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. From, from all those handstands, you you get a good flexibility yeah. in uh, in your wrist, but uh, of course uh, you must be careful because uh, you can also get injured. You can also get injured, and your elbows from all those statics can get yeah much more flexible. Uh, so yeah, it's all, all this stuff is coming with the time okay all this yeah. flexibility and mobility yeah so the next question is you already answered it uh, do you do basics and how often do you do basics and what's something different uh, how important do you think that basics are for learning static elements like you do they're really important for sure not only for static for overall strength yeah. so I do right now two times per week basics I mean normal basics like pull-ups and dips one time of the week I do them with my body weight and the other time I do it with uh, additional weights. Not so much additional weights, but uh, just try something different. Okay, and uh, so you also do sometimes a little bit with like dumbbells, right? Yeah, these are more specific for the statics. Yeah. Okay. These are more specific. But, but you didn't do it since the beginning, right? You yes, just yes. started training for planche. Like yes, I started attempts. later with them. Yeah. Mainly in the beginning, only at times. Yeah, for the plan. Do you have any special diet or a nutrition plan that you're following? Something like this? Right now, not really. Although I just concentrate not to eat too much. So my weights will not go up and my static will be on good level. Yeah, so, especially if I'm 
preparing for competition, I look at not eating so much. Okay. That's it. Okay. And there's any supplements you take? No, no. Nothing? Nothing. That's good. The next question is, how did you learn the planche and what did you tell a beginner who wants to start learning the planche? What's the most important thing? The most important thing for a beginner is not to rush. Not to rush slowly, so first start with the planches, handstands, easier things, not go, don't go directly to full planche uh, and stuff like this because you can get injured really easily and you know injury with injury you have no progress and you lose the motivation and nothing goes right yeah. that's it yeah i saw your transformation video there is yeah. one on youtube i saw in the beginning you just did a lot of attempts right yeah a lot of times try it, try and it yeah. all of my first year of trying planches were was straddle planche yeah i was not going to full planche at motifs i was actually not even thinking about it yeah I didn't know that it's existing. Okay, so, so you just like Maltese, yeah. went for a straddle planche and I think that's what also made you strong in the beginning. Just attempt it. Yes, exactly, times. exactly. I just concentrated mainly on the easiest thing. Yeah. So after this, I could upgrade it. Yeah, that's good. it. So the next question is, is there any shortcut or any special advice or any magical formula for running statics and planche or what do you think? The answer is no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. That's why I Nothing ask special, this question. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing so Some people think it is like No this. special that that to help you to learn Maltese yeah. exactly and all the other stuff. So, so it just attempts hard work. Yeah, yeah, I think it's like like for the first moves, it's a lot of attempts, right? And then you exactly, progress exactly. and you just keep progressing. No secrets for sure. Yeah, yeah. So is there any last advice you would like to give to someone who wants to improve themselves in street regard and calisthenics, who wants to get stronger and especially wants to get stronger in statics? Is there any overall advice you would like to give to guys? Probably to work with the program, not, uh, not to go and just do what you feel on the training. Make a plan and try to do it. That is it. So, so you also train like a strict plan or you have like a little plan and then you adjust it on the day. What what do you think is yeah. better? I think it's better strict plan, but uh, sometimes we don't have the opportunity for that. Yeah, yeah. For example, right now I'm traveling, so yeah. it's really hard for me to make a good training. Okay. You actually saw yesterday. Good. So yeah, but uh, uh, if, if you have enough time and if you're staying at home, mainly you can make a program and try to be strict. Yeah, and I think you can you can also change it, right? If you see it doesn't work out, just change something yeah. separate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the idea. So yeah, I also think it's good to have something in mind that you should be doing, so that you know this is the minimum. I have to do this today. Exactly. And then I think it's also okay, you know, to play around a bit if you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's it with the questions. Thanks a lot for this interview, and thanks a lot for coming here to Welcome. Austria. You have been judging the Austrian championship, yeah. right? Yeah, and I think it's good to see some insights of Victor and I think it's also great to see that he's just like a normal guy, he's here at my home, we're walking yeah. out these days, we're going to the city, he's really a normal guy, he's very nice and it was great to meet you. Thank you bro, Again. for me it was a pleasure also. <laughs> and yeah, as you see he's a normal guy, it's nothing really special, it's just... No magic. Uh, yeah, no it's, magic. Uh, it's a lot of hard work add it together exactly it makes up the only sense. hard work yes yeah so thank you a lot and right now we're going to have a session so we're yes. going out and we're going to train right let's go train let's go